You mentioned that you've been treating yourself and your baby for thrush for about the last month and you've you've pumped a lot of breast milk and stored it in your freezer and of course it's so hard to see that go to waste and you want to know if you can use that in the future for your baby. Candida albicans is a type of fungus that normally lives on our skin and in the gut and in the vagina and it helps to keep bad bacteria away. In and of itself, it's not bad, but if it overgrows, then it can actually cause a yeast infection. And this overgrowth is common if someone's been taking antibiotics or if they get a cut in their skin or if they just have a suppressed immune system. So for nursing mothers, this means that if you, um, if you have a yeast infection on the breast, you can pass it to the baby when they nurse. And then unless you both get treated, it just keeps passing back and forth between the two of you. So if you suspect that you or your baby might have um, a yeast infection on you, it would be on your skin for the baby, it would be in their mouth, it's called um, oral thrush, talk with the pediatrician and they'll make sure you can both get treated. Sometimes treatment takes a little while and until then a lot of mothers wonder if they can continue to breastfeed their babies or if they can store a breast milk that they've pumped. Like of course you don't want it to reinfect your baby in the future after you've gotten rid of the problem. You can definitely continue to nurse your baby. That's not a reason to stop nursing them. And if you've pumped and stored expressed breast milk, this can be used in the future, but you just wanna make sure that you label it so that you know that, that that breast milk was pumped when you had a yeast infection. As for giving your baby expressed breast milk that you pumped while infected, let's say you put it in the freezer, you want to thaw it out and give it to your baby, there is, in theory, a possibility that they could be reinfected because freezing deactivates yeast, but it doesn't kill it. So they could get this when they drink the milk in the future. More studies are necessary to find out if this is actually the case or not, though. Again, thrush is more likely to happen when children have been given antibiotics recently or if they have compromised immune systems. And so if your baby's healthy, it might not affect them and they may not become reinfected. Um, if you're worried about it, one of the things you can do is actually pump some fresh breast milk and dilute it a little bit with the, the frozen milk that you pumped while you were infected. And this does, in theory, again, reduce the chance that they'll become infected. If you have more questions about it, talk with your pediatrician. And if you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.